Hiya peeps and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Let's go. So, a couple things happened between episodes. Um, I was reading a walkthrough and it said that I should be at level 40 right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to get quite that high. I feel like that's a little excessive. But I did do a little bit of grinding. And uh, so I'm going to insert the, the clips right here. But Congo got a Dragoon level. Um, Hashel got a Dragoon level, and Shanna got a Dragoon level. Um, I think only Shanna got a new spell out of it though. But, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. And then, um, Hashel and Kongol are on their different editions right now. So we're gonna check those out, and hopefully I don't mess them up. Yeah, that. Shit's bananas. Um, yeah. Dart's still on uh, Crush Dance, and he's been missing a lot. Fuck. Come on. I've been waiting until we get to a town. Fuck. Okay, Dart. Because, uh, I don't have any more mind purifiers. Though I did find out that, um... Ah, uh, shit. Turning someone into a Dragoon gets rid of the fear stat. I totally forgot about that. So that's, um, a really fun, fun fact. Uh, here we have Meteor Strike. So let's check that sheet out. God, he's so fucking huge. And yet, that still wasn't enough to take out both of these guys. Even though, eh, uh, whatever. Okay. Fuck. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see Kongol's edition, like, sometime soon. I think the edition that Hashel has on right now is his high attack one. Hey! hey. Um... And the one that Kongol has on right now, I don't know what's up with it, other than it's a pain in the ass, but we have to head our way back to uh, Fernie. Because we gotta collect a prize, even though we weren't in it for the prize, we still get one. And it's not much, but it's worth it. Focusing. 
Yeah, that's what the concentration was for. I just need to show off Kongol's addition. Please do that for me. Thank you. Yeah. How extra is that? It's super goddamn extra. That's what it is. Oh, now you're gonna petrify him? That's rude. Fuck it. Dart. Depetrify him. We're gonna go ahead and transform Hashel and see if he got any new magic. I don't think he did because he's level 4, and you should only have 4 spells, and he's got 3. Last time I checked. Yep, he's good. Attack. <laughs> and maybe I'll bring in Shanna, so we can check out her new... Her new magic, because she did actually get a spell. Let's go ahead and do that. Fucking level 40. I'm not even at 30. They gotta be, they gotta be, like, wrong somewhere, right? Anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and switch out Hash Shield. Bring Shanna in here. Back in here. I'm a little bit bummed that, uh, I've been doing all of this grinding with no Maru and no Rose. They're missing out. A body purifier. That's useless! Sorry about that weird skip. Okay, Shanna. Actually, um, we're gonna go ahead and have you do this first. We're gonna get her all the way filled up on her SP before we do stuff. Seriously? These fucking birds are apparently way too smart for Dart. Because he has a lot of problems with them. There's seriously a fight that he didn't hit a single time. <laughs> Everybody else took care of it. Okay, Kongol, I'm going to have you guard for a minute. Seriously? Seriously. Shanna? I need... I need the girl. I'm also really happy... Oh, shit. I better be able to do this spell. I'm also really happy that, um... I have something on Shanna that gets her SP every time she gets attacked. <gasps> I just feel like it's good planning on my part. Hey! Oh, it's... It recovers all allies. We don't really need it right now, but you know what? Let's do it anyway. I just want to see it. Holy shit, that is extra as hell. Okay. Oh, Dart, you can finally hit the stupid fucking bird. Good job, buddy. Well, 
now we're just oh okay now we're just waiting to finish this fight oh, yeah we gotta go collect a reward and um we get to head our way to Deningrad. 95. That's fucking nothing. Shwing! Hello? Oh, okay. I guess it's been so long since I've actually seen a party member de-transform in battle. Whoops. Oh, good job, me. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that was good. Oh, man. Okay. I think until we get Maru back, Kongol's just gonna be in our party. Um, no replace. Yes, discard. I also had a very fun moment where I was trying to heal up Kongle, like, and I didn't want to use a potion or anything like that. Because I was just using up all my recovery balls. Um, it took three tries. Tell me for what reason would it take goddamn three tries to get what you're looking for? It just kept on giving him MP instead. <sighs> goddamn stupid. Oh. Goody goody come drop. Kamui's back to normal. I can be with him again. Oh, that's great. Let me talk to your friend. I was attacked by a monster. Kamui helped me. Kamui's not bad. I mean, that's what Tio was saying. Oh, I think we have to go to the mayor. Thank God. I wonder if Tio would really be okay. Let's go. Let's go to the mayor. That's who we we're wanting. Hey, good thing nobody stole our boat. It's not like we left it locked or anything like that. <laughs> Mr. Mayor! Is you here? Oh, there you are. I saw you. Son of a bitch. Fa opened her mouth. Oh. Do we not come to you to get a reward? What the hell? If I've been lied to by this walkthrough, I'm finding a different walkthrough. And I can't even pull it up right now because I think I exited the page to Google something. Like an idiot. Um, we're gonna go to the front again. Maybe we gotta find that soldier dude. The one guard guy. Um, I guess we go to the house on the right and then we'll get off our boat there. I just want my money. Give it to me. Give it to me. Is he in here? Come on, you cuck. Place where I was kicked still hurts. It wasn't a normal wolf. Five times the usual prize was not enough, right? 
That's so close to getting five times the usual prize. Yeah, 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 yeah. You? Welcome. Here's a five times larger prize as I promised. I'm not interested in... Did you hear the truth about the incident from Fa? You saved not only Kamui, but us too. This is an expression of thanks from all of us. Please take it. 500 gold. That's really not bad. This place is fucking weird. Okay. Okay. Let's go! It's time to go to Deningrad. And maybe, hey, we'll be able to meet back up with our, uh, our two friends not long after that. That'd be nice. The, the, the child? Go play with the other two kids. Alright. Time to slowly creep our way back through this town. Ugh. Does it feel this inconvenient to get around Venice? Or is it more inconvenient to get around Amsterdam with all the bikes? <laughs> Can you just say Tio's house? Or, I don't know. I don't know. I just want things to complain about. I'm supposed to be, uh... Trying to... Attach fabric to the headliner of my car currently. Um, I'm using this to procrastinate, so don't be like me, kids. But uh, fiber optic lights to go onto this the headliner of my car, and I also wanted to buy... I also wanted to redo my headliner fabric. Not because mine was messed up or anything, which it probably is now. But no, I'm literally just replacing it because it's tan, and I don't like tan. <laughs> Oh man, holy shit. Is this dude okay? It's cold, cold. I'm from Tiberoa and this cold weather is too harsh for me. Sorry to hear about it. Oh, cute tree, you guys. I was just married the other day. I'm happy as a lark. Aw, congratulations! Married and blessed by Bishop... <laughs> Dilly. <laughs> I'm so happy now. That sounds like a big deal. It's kind of weird that you guys have a cup hanging off the end of your bed, but... Your twin size bed for both of you? No judging. A little bit of judging. No judging. Hello. Ooh, weapon shop. Sell me weapons. Oh, yes. A spear of terror. Yeah. Sick. We already spent our money that we got rewarded. <laughs> okay. Breastplate. Brings down his magic defense and that's the last thing we want. Master's Vest. Hey look, it's the soul headband that we happen to get by chance. Um, That brings her defense down, and that's the last thing she needs also. Protector. Um, armor of Legend for 10,000. 
Holy shit. Look at that defense stat. Holy fuck. It brings their magic. Look at how far down it brings down their magic defense, though. Oh my god. That's a no go from me. People need magic defense. Oh. Oh my god, please tell me you have mind purifiers. Well, first of all, I don't need this many angels' prayers. Uh, body purifier. I'm cool just having two. It's time to be, um, like, honest with myself. I hate recovery balls. I'm- I have too bad of luck for me to believe in a system like this. We can keep the attack ball. Actually, nah. I don't use the little magical attacks very often. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. As cool as they are. Eventually I'll have to go through and use a lot of them to see what they look like. Uh... Okay. Now sell me some stuff. Alright. And then... I think I want a couple healing breezes. And we're good on healing fogs, apparently. Let's buy another healing breeze, just for funsies. Cool, thanks. I have an itch! Okay, I'm good. Let's go up these stairs. It's extra as hell. This entire city is extra as hell. It's beautiful. It is said that the divine tree that lives in our heart and the last fruit have been protected from evil by the signets created by the ancient winglies. The signets, huh? The legend goes, when the signet is broken, the end of the world approaches. Just like the last fruit, we humans are one of the fruits given life by the divine tree. For the end of the world to be a mere legend, we must remove evil from our hearts and live in honesty. It is our mission as children of the divine tree. It's so interesting to go to these different countries and they have, like, different religions and, I don't, I don't know, it's interesting that they have that in a game like this. Hello, yes, I heard you talking about the Divine Tree. Please tell me more. A divine tree. I've never heard of it. Um... We still don't know what the objectives are for Lloyd. Any information could be helpful. Oh, you must be travelers. Welcome to the Deningrad. Welcome to the Deningrad. Welcome to Deningrad. My name is Bishop... <sighs> Bishop Dilly. I'm going with it. I serve the divine tree. I'm Dart. This drawing is what you were talking about? Yes, it is. The divine tree. But this is what we imagine. Nobody has seen the real tree. Nonetheless, we believe in the divine tree. It is the source of life and harmony. Would you like to know more about the divine tree? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, please. Beginning, nothingness 
filled the world. Then the creator saw descended from the sky. And his followers created the world. In the end, Soa sowed a seed on the earth. The seed soon grew to be a great tree. The great tree bore 108 fruits, and various life forms arose from the ripened fruits. Thus, 108 forms of life were created to fill the world. Divine tree completed its role, but the story says it is still protected by the signet of Soa. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that tree creeps me out. Anyway. It is like this, the world was established with a fate determined by Soa. So like, everybody still believes in Soa, but everybody worships a different thing done by Soa? Is that how it is? God's tree sown by Soa is the divine tree. If you would like to find out more about this, you can go to the National Library. <sighs> is that the Mil Soso National Library? I can step into the treasury of knowledge. I wonder if I'm capable of receiving all this incredible luck and still remain calm. No, I cannot. The treasure of knowledge is shining and calling me. <laughs> uh, Albert, are you okay? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're going to come up to the altar here. Now we talk to this man, before we go to the library, because he's the librarian. Who are you people? Do you realize that you are talking to the librarian, Ute? No, sorry. So what do you want? Have you interrupted my ceremony for no reason? I don't like stubborn old guys, because I want to be an adorable old guy. Did you say something? Please wait, we were told by Bishop Dilly that there is a wonderful library here. If you want, you can just go to the library. Oh wait, I locked the door when I left. So, could you open the door? I would love the opportunity to touch such treasures of intelligence. <laughs> Alright, stop looking at me like that. I appreciate it. I'll let you in now. <laughs> he is such a haughty old guy. Don't say that. We have to do what we can do until Lloyd shows up. That's true. He used a dragon and a dragoon in Sertio and in Tiberoa. He obtained the cooperation of a wingly. We don't know what he will do here. But yeah, let's go. Let's go to the wealth of knowledge that is a library support your local library y'all and i think it is that thing up the stairs right here 
yeah, yeah. Albert's leading the way, so this is absolutely it. This is incredible. This is the knowledge source of endiness. Go look for anything you want. The entire wall is filled with books. And the wall after that, and the wall after that, and the wall after that. Maybe we can find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't looking at these things all the time have an effect on you? It made me wise. Congo feels dizzy. Gigantos lose to books. Here is something about dragoons. It also talks about dragoons, too. Oh, dragons. It also talks about dragoons. There it is. We can say that the Serdian War was started from the dragoon spirit that was brought by Lloyd. Let's split up and look. Let's just do it. I guess I have time to use my brain for the first time in a long time. Can Kongle read human words? If Rose were here, she would tell us a lot. They will be back when they finish with their errands. We have to do what we can do now. Alright, let's check out this motherfucking library! It is about Wingleys, I guess. You guess? Kongle cannot read human characters. Kongle looks pictures. Let me read it. Winglies are people with wings of light who employ magical power. They had their glory 11,000 years ago and had enormous magical power that could float colossal cities. That's cool as fuck! City floats. Yes, it is unimaginable in the current world. They became extinct after the war with the humans who were seeking their liberation, but Linus, who was a wingly, was alive. Besides, us dragoons are supposed to be only a legend. A legend does not necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragons. No, dragoons and dragons. What is this? Virage manipulated by winglies. Oh, there's so much talking. Hey, Shanna, what you doing? Shanna, did you find out, find out something? This book is talking about divine moon objects, but they are just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. If we can find out the meaning of the divine moon objects, we think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay, let me read the part I found. After the dragon campaign, humans controlled the continent of Endiness and divided the continent into four and established three new countries. To the east, Serdio. To the south, Tiberoa. To the north, Milsicel. And to the west of the continent, the untouched land, the death frontier. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the Winglies as proof of their alliance. The divine moon objects are said to conceal magical power. However, their usage is unknown. Usage is unknown. Hmm. His mystery must be hidden in there. I will look into it more. Girl, you gotta let me buy. What's up, fellas? This is a marvelous place. It seems all the wisdom that humans can possibly know is here. Library of Alexandria, anyone? I'm reading a book on politics now. This is very... Can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? Y yes, indeed. Now, let me read the portion that talks about dragons. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species in all of the 107 creatures given life by the Divine Tree. Their attacks and life power overwhel overwhelm others. However, the creator Soa created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign 11,000 years ago, they had fierce battles against Virages manipulated by Winglies and couldn't avoid being annihilated. But they weren't annihilated like the book says. True, and again, they are ruled by dragoons. I'll look for more. So I guess to answer my question, dragons don't have the intelligence of humans, so I guess we can call them animals. Terrifying animals. More terrifying than hippos. 
That's a new fear that I have unlocked recently. Okay, let's go see what Hashel has to say. This book talks about the Dragoons. The Dragoons from Legend? Yes, it is. The heroes of the Dragon Campaign. According to this, we are the first new Dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called when history re requires them. When history requires them, is that now? Lavitz was a Dragoon, and Graham, Dole, and Linus, too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what... Only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started out from the Dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. If Lloyd is a part of history that is necessary, then our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the dragon campaign to victory 11,000 years ago crossed the sky and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the Dragoon spirits as if it were some unavoidable fate. This legend seems to be telling us that after this journey, we will vanish. Hmm. Hmm. It led to the dragon campaign. This is our hint that we need to go talk to him, so we're gonna do that. Um. Shit, I was gonna say something, but it's gone. Hmm. Hmm. It led to the dragon campaign. Yeah. What do you need? Are you acting superior again? Of course, I am superior. I prefer being hit with girls over feeling superior. <laughs> being a hit with girls over feeling superior. Are you a hit with girls, Hashel? I don't care about those things. It seems you are interested in the dragon campaign. What gave you, like, what gave you that thought? What gave it away? Wingleys, Divine Moon Objects, Dragons, and Dragoons, these all had something to do with the Dragon Campaign. Then Lloyd has something to do with the Dragon Campaign. The Dragon Campaign is my specialty. Maybe I can be of assistance. Tell me. TELL ME! We only know fragments. I see. This is the legend of the Dragon Campaign that I know. Seven Dragoon Warriors in the legend of the Dragon Campaign. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the Dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the gods' fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the Dragoon's cause. And at last they freed the gods. Without the god's power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the Human Age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. Melbu Frama seems like a new name. That is the story. Also, why is his voice so damn deep? Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh well, that's unfortunate. You were already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No, it contains the historical material of Mil Sasso. 
For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, from our country, they are all historic objects. This is something left by the Black Monster that brought an inferno down on this country. The Black Monster? It has already been 18 years. It is surprising a young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, are you a survivor from the village? Surprise! Oh, wow. This is actually very interesting. Like a cool little museum. Huh. We're gonna go ahead and check out this, um, fragment from Neats next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Well, you know, an amazing, incredible, just kick-ass day. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.